Hello, this is Dr. James, and today I'm going to talk about what to do if you have a hard uh, computer that's unbootable, the operating system won't boot up, or some other failure happened, maybe it's a hardware failure, and uh, assuming that the hard disk, usually the hard disk doesn't mechanically fail, the hard disk does not mechanically fail, you, are still, you, sh you should still be able to pull your data off using this technique. And what we're going to do is we're going to use an external computer. So this, this laptop over here right now is not booting. And so we have another computer over here, which is uh, up and running. And we're going to take the hard drive out of this laptop and hook it up to these, these adapter cables, which will convert. Uh, this is a SATA input. I don't know if you can see that very well, SATA. Uh, which is one of the standards for uh, the hard drives. And then this is the older standard, this is IDE. So this is a, a adapter cable from a SATA or IDE to USB. So you should be able to just plug this in and make your hard drive into like a uh, USB hard drive. And uh, then of course you also need a power supply. And so here's something with a power supply connector for SATA. And uh, it also has the the older type power supply adapter connectors, and you can just put this adapter cable on here. There's, I got this from Micro Center. They have a bunch of other types of cables there. This is one of the more expensive ones. And then, of course, on the other end of it, there is a plug which you can plug into the wall to get power for this. So we'll show you how to hook these two cables up and save your data. Now typically, like a lot of these computer places where, you know, if you're, you're uh, Windows, let's say you're running Windows, I have to run Windows sometimes, so can't get away with that because uh, get away with not doing that because a lot of things are written for Windows. I try to run Linux as much as I can, but so you're running Windows and it crashes and uh, you take it into one of these computer fix-it places like uh, you know the at, the at the big computer stores or whatever typically they'll just you know reinstall Windows and that will blow away, wipe away all your data so if you got pictures or whatever on your computer they'll all be gone and plus it's, it's expensive you know if you want to hire a a, a real computer guy to do that. He's going to charge you, you know, a good good chunk of money to to take your uh, your data off and try to save it because it's going to take him a while to do that. So I'll show you how to do that. First thing you got to do is you got to remove the hard drive. So in a laptop, in this particular laptop, the hard drive is under here. So we we have a jeweler's jeweler's type screwdriver. This is a Phillips. And uh, we will undo these screws here. Remove this panel on the back of the computer. Okay. And this is your hard drive right here. Let's see if we can zoom in a little bit. Okay, so this square box right here is your hard drive. And so it's got some more little screws that you have to take out. Okay, so we'll take these screws out. Don't lose them inside the computer. Be sure to grab them and pull them out. And I think that there's three screws holding this guy in. And we'll put those screws up there. And I believe there's another one right here, in this corner. He's not going to come out with a screwdriver. So this is the hard drive, and it has a little adapter cable here, which plugs into your laptop. So there's a little tab. I don't know if you can see that little tab over there. So there's a, a there's an adapter cable that goes from your hard drive here, and it hooks into the computer. There's a little tab. You can grab onto that tab and pull it up like that and you should be able to so you got the cable disconnected grab onto the hard drive and 
lift up on it. Oops, I guess the cable's clipped under a few things. Oops, don't lose that screw. And here is your hard drive. It's all the pertinent information on the back of it. Okay, it's a very thin hard drive. They need to be thin for laptops. Now this this cable here, this is a specialized cable for for the for the uh, laptop computer, and you cannot. You know, at first I was trying to look for an adapter for this. How do you adapt that? You can't adapt that. This is an adapter cable. This comes off, and if you look here, after you take off this adapter cable, this is a special one just for the laptop. So we'll leave it there. You take that cable off, and there's both uh, SATA adapters because this is a SATA hard drive. Okay. Okay. So here is a uh, PC in case you uh, have a crashed hard hard disk on your PC. I'll show you where that is located. Also, I have the side panel removed here, and typically the hard disks are in this. You see this little bay at the top. Typically, that's where the hard disks reside. They're pushed into the back. You'll have to get in there, and there's usually some screws or some latches or something that release the hard disk from the side. And let's see, where's our hard disk actually? Okay, so actually, I put my hard disk down here because I had to remove it. And so it's, it's in this little cage down here. And you can see the ports. You got to undo the screws on the side of it and you can unplug these cables. Do, always do this when the computer's off by the way. You unplug the power cables in the back of it. You can pull that hard disk out of there and then plug it in just like the uh, like we did with the laptop. Okay. So let's come over here and we're going to take our data cable, right? It's our data cable. And we will there's a little little notch in that cable. And that can go into the slot on the the hard disk. So we'll line get it oriented so that notch lines up with that. And we'll plug plug that one in there like that. Okay. So we now got that connection made, and then uh, this is our power cable over here. It also has a new type of SATA connector with a little slot on it. I don't know if you can see that. And there's a slot on this guy, so you got to make sure that those are lined up. And yeah, plug her in like that. So we got them both plugged in now. Okay, they're both plugged into our hard drive, and. We're going to take the power adapter here and we will take the end of the cable and plug her into our power strip. I like the, I like to have lots of power strips. The more power strips you have, the more stuff you can plug in. So we get that all plugged in there. And so now, here's our, our hard disk. And we're going to take the data. Well, let's, let's, let's turn it on first. There's a, this little, in this particular one, it's got an on-off power switch, which is turned off. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. A little on and off power switch. So we'll turn it on, the light comes on. And that turns the hard drive on. Okay, so the hard drive is now powered up. And we're going to take the uh, hard drive here. We have a USB connector here. And we have some USB ports on the side of our little laptop here that's working. And we'll plug it into that. 
Make sure we get it the right way because there's a top and a bottom to the USB. Okay. And we'll take a look here. Oh, it says local disk F. Okay. Uh, open folders to view. Okay, so it's given. This is Windows 8, by the way. I really hate Windows 8, but it's the only laptop that I had available to do this right now. Okay, so now we've we've opened up a window here. Okay, and let's, let's kind of zoom in. you can see that okay but here we have uh, we've opened up a window and all of our files on our hard drive are now on our hard drive that we've plugged in down here are now accessible in our little laptop and so what we can do we can uh, you know, if we want to make copies of them, we can just get our little mouse here, and we can go over and take these files and direct, you know, click on them. Let's take a look at one. User. Say we want to save the files in user. Just click on those files and drag them over and drop them onto your desktop. You go through all the files that you want to save, find your pictures or whatever, and click on them and put them onto the new computer. And that way, when you try to repair your operating system, if that was a problem, or maybe put the hard disk, disk into a new computer, um, you won't be risking losing your files because all those are very risky procedures that could very easily uh, lose your files. And so, following this procedure, you can hook up your crashed uh, or, uh, hard disk from your crashed computers and uh, try to save your data onto a separate computer. Before you try, you know, reinstalling the operating system or any other, you could lose all your data. Okay. Anyway, this is Dr. James. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps out.